white wine vinegar or red wine vinegar. Not all vinegars are created equal. Taking us on a tasting tour, we've got Chef Jason Parsons. Hello. Hello. Hello, this just. There's just so many vinegars out there. Oh, tell me about it. You know? It can get really confusing, a little overwhelming. Like, what is the difference between all these vinegars? Well, Where should you use them? That's it. I mean, I think the thing is, I've, this is like hardly any. I mean, there's tons and tons out there. And when you're standing in the aisle, you know, you kind of, <laughs> that one's got raspberries in it. And this one, you know, like you just don't know, right? You don't know. So I thought, let's go through some of the basics. And this might help you to kind of navigate that aisle. OK, let's but do that. Starting off, though, good old distilled white vinegar. White yeah, vinegar. Yeah, this is the basics, you know, and give this one a tray because it's, it's you know, it's it's the heart and soul of vinegar. Uh -huh. um, I should actually mention, though, this is the one that doesn't oh. taste very good. <laughs> Okay, yeah. you, you've got to experience it, I right? I mean, I use this on the weekend to clean down the patio furniture. Well, so. and I mean, it's, it's, it has cooking uses, but you know okay. what? It is a great cleaner, <laughs> I man. I should have known. We're, it's a good cleaner. When we're at work on the stoves, you put a little bit of that, scrub oh, it, and yeah. the grease is gone. Like, you know, it's, it's fantastic. But yeah. what people don't realize, it's also great for when you're doing any pickling or things okay. like that. All right. This is your big, bold vinegar with mm. not a lot of flavor to back it up. Yeah. It's acid. Right? right? That's what yeah. it is. I just it's gave you a little, very, little bit of acid to try in the morning. Very right? tart. Um, but definitely, if you want to make buttermilk, you could use that because it would really churn the cream and get It'll that buttermilk it. going. Yeah. You know, anything, anytime when it comes pickling time, that is your default. Okay. Because it doesn't have really much flavor. It's just got the acid. This is a straight up yeah. hard working vinegar. You got it. But then we get into something, and I figured I'd go easy on you this time. This is okay. the delicate one. This is the rice vinegar. Rice vinegar. Yeah. So where am I going to want to use this vinegar? This is the light. This is a relax. This, it's a little mm. sweet, you know. Mm -hmm. A lot of Asian cuisine uses this. Okay. You know, like mm -hmm. uh, you know, a lot of recipes have vinaigrettes where it's vinegar and oil. You'd put this on a salad. You wouldn't even need the oil. Just right. drizzle on it. I think it's like four percent. That's lovely, actually. Right. Well, and it's sweeter. Yeah. It's obviously fermented from rice, um, so it's got a different flavor to it. Yeah. But it's amazing with like light salads or in light flavors like fish and things like that. It's just you know easy, easy going. So you don't even have to. I mean, you don't even need to cook it. Cook with it. No. You can just put it on. Cold. I wouldn't cook with it at all. I mean, okay. this, this is what they put in sushi. This is what Got you know, it. all that kind of stuff, because it just gives you that nice kind of sweet punch to it. Lovely. Okay. Okay. Apple cider. Well, this I is. I feel the like category. this is going to have some punch. Yeah. This is the this is the flavored vinegars. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, a little bit of acid, mm -hmm. not too crazy, right? Now there's a lot going on yeah. there. Yeah. Fruit mm -hmm. or flavored vinegars are the I ones like that we're seeing a lot of. You know, I mean, I think on the show I've made raspberry vinegar. That's You've seen right. all these different like apricot vinegars or whatever. Mm -hmm. That's in this category. And what they are is they're really fruit forward. They got a little bit more of a freshness to them. They yeah. have a bit of acid. They are definitely, if you're making a vinaigrette, you probably want to get a bit of oil in there. Yes. Amazing with fish, amazing with chicken, okay. you know, things like that. Yeah. One thing to be aware of though, when you're dealing with fruit vinegars mm -hmm. is once you open them, you want to get them in the fridge. Oh, really? You know, because they will start to spoil on you. You didn't know that either, yeah. did you? You know, it just, I mean, it's not the end of the world, but they, 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 got, got they don't have a lot of acid in them, so the bacteria can build up, you know, mm. so it's extend that light, put it in the fridge. The fruit you know. ones. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But That's I always say with know. vinegars too, don't buy the big balls. Buy the little ones and yeah. just buy them regularly. So. You know what I say all the time on the show? I can't believe I'm alive. <laughs> <laughs> when we talk about all the stuff we shouldn't do. Oh, it's, a, it's <laughs> crazy. Crap but you know what? you got to eat some bad stuff every once in a while because I think so. that way your body gets the immune system. That's so, right. So these two here. These are our balsamic vinegars. Oh, I love balsamic. Yeah, we know these well. They're uh -huh. friends of ours. We have them in almost every tomato salad, right? But what's interesting is people might not know we have the balsamic that we know, but mm -hmm. there's also a white balsamic. Which you know? I've never tried. Yeah, and these what are made. What is happening with these? Like, so how do they make these? It's actually made in the same process as, as a, a wine. You know, they've okay. got the grapes. They allow the fermentation and the alcohol. But then what they do is they actually will take the musks and they will cook them. Okay. So the balsamic that we know is cooked that's and good. caramelized, and that's mm -hmm. why you get that color. Whereas the white one is not cooked as long, so it doesn't get the color. Okay, uh, but they're also put into barrels and aged. Mm -hmm. And in order to be called a balsamic vinegar, it has to be in a barrel for a minimum of 12 years. Oh wow! Like 12 years. Like that's some old know, vinegar. Somebody made this 12 years ago. 12 like, years ago. Know. You know. It's like a fine wine. Well, it is, and that's where they start to get into it. So if we're talking about aging, this is the aged balsamic. <gasps> I bet that's so expensive. Oh, is it? That's why. That's why I only gave you a little bit. Okay, you know. I'm gonna try um, some, and it's very thick. Yep, 20 years of aging. Oh wow! Yeah, I know. Just think how young I. 
it was 20 years ago. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> You're still young now. Um, that tastes amazing. But they're really, these are great for really adding flavor, but they are kind of taking over the dish mm -hmm. that you want them in there because you want the taste of balsamic. These are right. adding accents and kind of bringing the other flavors out. Yeah. This is a flavor all on its own. It's okay. really good. I say it like this, 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 yeah. my favorite so far. Well, then you've really got... Really good. These are kind of the workhorses. I mean, although okay. the, uh, the first one is the cleaning one, this is the workhorse of... This is actually your red wine and your white wine vinegars. How much bread can I consume? I know this segment? is great. I'll just kind of... <laughs> so good for my low-carb diet, guys. Um, oh, it's, it's gluten-free. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but these typical okay. red wine... wine a lot more acid though. Mm -hmm. See that? This is up to seven or eight. They're not percent. sweet. You know, no, these are definitely you're putting them in, you want something else to balance it, oil yeah. or something like that. Yeah. If you're ever putting this onto meat or something to marinate it, it's a short marinade, then you gotta get it out. Got it. Because it's gonna cook It'll it. It'll cook it. Right. But it does really give great flavor to vinaigrettes and things like that. Okay, so, so this there's is, a punch there. You got it. But um, that, and white is about the same, right? It is. You know, it's just that kind of, it's white almost wine, treated like wine. white wine, red wine. You're going to get softer notes, maybe a little bit more uh, like crisp pear notes, something like that, yeah. where this is going to be a little more, uh, you know, cherry, fruit forward, that kind of thing. Got so. it. Um, and then the last one, this is something that's not that common on the market, but I have okay. it at the winery. And it's called Verjou, and I think okay. you're going to fall in love with this. All right. I'm definitely going to try. Is it, it, is it wine based? It is, is it? actually unripened grape juice. Oh. So when we prune the vines at a mm -hmm. certain time of the year, there'll be like 15 clusters on that there. That's good. Isn't that awesome? Mm -hmm. we, we trim it's it gentle. down to 10 bunches um, so that you get more fortified grapes, but mm -hmm. the five that you remove are unripened. You just press those, no fermentation, nothing. It's ready to go, verjus juice, yeah. clean, crisp. Pour that with some salmon. Oh. Oh, Fantastic. yeah. Barbecuing chicken, yes. a little bit of pork. That's I'm very good, Jace. Here. I know. So. You should have a bowl of bread like yeah. I just had. But, uh, but <laughs> Fill you right up. 